everyone, it's Fantasia. So I wanted to show you guys this really cool mod that I came across. So this is the instant cast story mod. This is going to kind of allow you to make a story for your Sims before you even leave Create a Sim. And I know that when you go into Create a Sim, you have the option to like start doing a story. You know that thing? You can like answer questions. It's like multiple choice. And then your Sims will end up getting like a career, starter money, all that like traits. But I feel like a lot of people don't like that feature. I did like it and then now I feel like, I don't know, I don't like the fact that I am not able to choose. Like I know you can choose the questions but then sometimes they end up with something I just, I'm not vibing with or it's just like repetitive and I know I can go change it afterwards but still, I don't know, I just never use that feature anymore and this allows me to like feel more creative in create a sim but also have like the story kind of like take place on its own, if that makes any sort of sense. I'm going to show you guys the post first. Okay, so here it is here. This is by Vicky Sims. I feel like you guys might be familiar with this creator. They make some really amazing things. So yeah, this is the instant creatism story preferences. This is done with the preferences. I'm going to show you guys in game, so don't worry about the photos here. This is base game compatible, but it requires you to remove any packages for packs you don't own. So keep that in mind. And it is compatible with all their other mods and traits. But yes, I'm going to have this linked down below. So let's just jump right back into game. Okay, so when you go to the likes and dislikes, you're going to see Cass story skill. Then you're going to see Cass story career, Cass story degree, and all of these things are going to allow you to kind of like start a little story. So if you go to the story skill, it's going to say high slash low initial skill levels. So basically, if you're choosing dislike, they might have like a low skill with that initially. You know what I mean? Like, I hope this is making sense. I love this. We are going to go into game. I'm going to give her like a bunch of things. I don't have like the unlimited mod right now where this kind of like maxes out. Definitely grab that. There is a mod that makes this like unlimited so you can kind of like do whatever you want there and then you'll be able to choose like so many different things. So high slash low initial career levels which it does also tell you a little information if you hover over here. So pick initial career levels for your newly made sims. Likes for higher career levels or dislikes for lower career levels. This has no effect on already played sims. You should pick only one full-time job. Also, teens can take part-time job in addition to attending high school while older sims can work up to two part-time jobs if they don't have any full-time jobs. So I want to help her out a little here. I think I want her to be a comedian. So we're going to give her this here. And then there is cast story degree. Pick graduated university degrees for your sims. Likes for distinguished degrees with honors and dislikes for degrees. This is meant to be a cheat and instantly gives your sim a higher education background. You can pick multiple degrees. So for this one, it doesn't matter. You can pick multiple. We're going to do communications degree. We'll do drama degree. And then we're going to do dislikes for, I think, biology. Okay, so we're in game and this is actually really cool. You can see she's automatically a comedian and she's level nine. This is really cool. This does kind of like inspire me to like start a story. I don't know why. <laughs> so we also like, okay, we have so much going on here. Where was that notification? Here we go. We got a singing bonus like right away for her. I don't know. I think that's cool, you guys. And then you can see her skills are based on, you know, what I had her like. And then, you know, I did select dislike writing, I believe. So then she only has a level three, whereas the ones I put like, she has a level five. I think this is a nice way to go in the game and kind of start a storyline without using cheats. I really like this. It's also, it, it just feels different than the whole like in game thing like the create a sim multiple choice questions thing i prefer this because if you have like a rough idea in mind of what you want you know you can select these things but then this is gonna like progress your story further and i think this is really cool like right away she is gonna be making all this money but now we got to do a lot of work for her comedy skill and everything so that would be pretty interesting too but i don't know why i chose strangerville but like now that I'm seeing it, I'm like, oh my god, I miss Strangerville kind of a vibe. I feel like Strangerville is so underrated. I just love how this world feels. 
Like, even if you don't want to do the whole, like, stranger, um, Ville storyline and stuff like that, I feel like this is, like, a fun world to just be in. And I love how this is, like, set up like a trailer. Anyways, I'm getting off topic. I really need to do, like, a video just playing the game or something because I feel like I keep craving to do that. If you guys would like to see a video of me just, like, casually playing the game, let me know. But yeah, with that said, you guys, that is everything for this mod. It's a smaller mod, but honestly, I feel like it's a must-have. It is free to download and super easy to download. Just make sure if you don't have some of the packs, then delete those files. But yeah, with that said, I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys! The